Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all, help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we kind of went out and about a little bit. We started playing with the uh, dimensional depots. Uh, so they're all just getting filled up. Um, and then we went out looking for some power slugs. Uh, which I have been out and about on my own and picked up some more. So we're up to 22 and I also picked up uh, two more Mercer Spheres. Because, like I promised, I'm not touching anything to do with production uh, off camera. But I am just, you know, going around and collecting items that we might need for upcoming uh, work. So, the plan for today. Now we've got all of the um, uh, da -da 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 power slugs turned into power shards, I want to redo this floor down here. Um, I really want to try and make this more efficient. Uh, to, to sound like fix it. So I am actually just going to be get, uh, getting going with that. So I'm actually going to turn this down. Which means I can turn this down. Uh, because we're going to try and redo how this works. So we're now going to start pulling down a lot of this stuff. because it's not going to match what we're going to try and build anymore. And it might be that I dedicate this whole thing to just being um, uh, iron plates. And we try and look at some of the other iron bits that are around to do our iron rods and screws and stuff like that. So I know I'm basically breaking a load of my production lines at the moment but like I say that is completely on purpose because I want to redo a lot of this uh, so let's no I don't want to turn these down I just want to grab all of this because what I'm going to try and do is we're going to kill these bits oh I'm full now Right, let's go and get rid of some stuff into the awesome sink so that I am able to keep moving stuff. <clears throat> I don't want to leave boxes behind. Right, put all of that in there, all of that in there. Right, okay. Uh, right, so we had that. Take out that floor hole. Take out this, we're going to end up sinking some of this ore because I'm not going to need it. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Okay. Now you're going to be changed because you're going to now have a splitter. And I'm just going to try and run this down here. Now, one of the bits I do actually want to have a look at is I do want to fully overclock this miner here. So, we put that in there. That gets us up to 150. Which, if we look at a Mark III belt, we can move that. Uh, right, you'll need to be up to Mark III. So 150 means we can do five of these off of one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's kind of perfect, actually. Okay. So you're going to get upgraded. And then we're just going to run this like this. Uh, right. And then feed you guys in there. Cool. So that's going to now start feeding these all from their single one. Now, you guys are still working on a one-to-one -one basis. 
which means we can now put these guys back. Bean, you're in the way. I'm going to have to boot you. Uh, you're also going to need to have a merger here. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bean, you're going to need to get out of the way. Right. So that's three, four, five. Okay. So that's now going to help a lot more with our uh, plate production. Take that down. And then we can just... Blow this through like so. Uh, and then you're in there. Cool. And then we just need to tell them what they're making. Okay. So that should help an awful lot more with our plates. Oh, we need to give them power. Okay. So that is plates. Uh, more than doubled. Okay. Then we're going to need another set of five. And for this, I'm going to take this wall out. And actually, I probably should have done this with the other one as well. I'm going to put a nice line like that. Uh, and we're going to have a splitter there like that. Cool. So that means these guys can do another five. Uh, so that's... Oh, how am I out of iron rods? Did I not just pick up a load from... we also not got a dimensional sink for the rods. Okay. Right, uh, one... Is that one? No, one, two, three. So we can put two more down. and five. So this will be our new rod production. Yeah, okay. Oh, so we can get this down. And like I say, it's more of a case of I just want to get the um, I, yeah, I just want to get the basics reset up so that we're ready to expand instead of trying to rush forwards because that is something I've done in the past, where I've just rushed forwards, and then it's like, ah, oh, now I've got all this that I've now got to try and do later. Now I'm aware we'll probably have to redo this again at some point. But right now, it feels appropriate to try and re-expand. Uh, so we can get all of this down. Oh, and I realise we've just picked up some more ore and some more stuff there, so we can get rid of that. There we go. Cool. Just continue sinking all of that. Because I don't mind. Right, okay. Now then. We want to go and feed these through, so... We need to put the Mark III conveyor there. And then... That line is being pulled. Uh, and that one, because we don't need any of that anymore. Right, now, how do I think this is going to be best? I think... 
looking at the alignment, this one's going to be the best one to make use of. And are you going to be able to go... Conveyor is too long. That's a shame. Let's pop it there, and then straight in like that. Oh, I don't like that dip. No, I've got to take it down. I, I don't like that dip. Right, how... Right, and then like that. No, that's too high. Okay, I really wish it would just go all the way straight over there, but it's not going to, is it? Uh, fine. In which case... Yeah, we'll put that there. And then we'll try and run this straight here. Ooh. Ooh, I have no idea what you're trying to snap to there. Okay. So that's then going to feed all of those. You require a full set of that. To go up to the 150. Cool. Take that down, and now we've got another 150 to try and make use of. Because we'll put those in there as well. <clears throat> so, coming up and round. You guys are all working away. Excellent. Right, so. This is where we're then going to start having a look with the rods again. Now, what do we do with rods? Rods are 15 to 15. Uh, okay. Which means I think what I'm going to do for the rods because otherwise it's going to be a real nightmare is just overclock them so that they line up there. <coughs> oh, I'm hoping I got to the mute in time there. We'll find out when I get to editing. Uh, right. So, yeah, I'm hoping we'll just overclock these, because otherwise trying to split down more of them is going to be a real pain. Uh, yeah. So we'll just do that. Now, we've used all of our, um, uh, yeah, we've basically overclocked all of our inputs, so these are fine to just use the, uh, the power slugs I've got for this, so that's okay. Uh, we can then... Take that down. Like that. There we go. Okay. Cool. So that should then feed all of these basically one to one like we've done with the rod. Uh, with the plates. Okay. Cool. So that's doing all of our rods. Now, our rods are currently in here. Which is not going to play ball nicely with all what we've got set up. Uh, so what I think is, we're going to grab one of these. We're going to turn it like so. And we're going to, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to put all of our rods in there. There we go. So they all go in there. And take down this lift. Hook that onto that like so. We can then grab... Oh, sand fluctuator. Okay. Uh, that means I need to try and make some of that. Can I make any of that on hand? No, I need some SAM. Some activated SAM. That's fine. We've got that up here. 
in this one. No, that's still pipes. Here's this. I wonder if that could be put in an awesome sink. Because we, we're producing a lot of that. Uh, yeah, let's put a smart splitter there. Make it straight. Uh, overflow. And then power it. Right, what happens if we do put that back in there? Right. That should then start overflowing. There we go. And does that sink? Because if that sinks, that's going to be another nice little free outlet that we've just got going at a good rate. Go on, are you going to go in or are you going to get stuck? Oh, that's good. Okay. Sure. And it looks like it's a decent amount as well. Cool. Right, okay. That's great. Another little outlet we've just got keeping whirring there. So, let's go and get our dimensional uh, Ujima flick for this thing. Right, okay. We'll just make a load of these. Right, cool. It does use a lot of that activated sand for it, doesn't it? Right, uh, organization, dimensional depot. I'm missing three. I didn't grab enough. Okay. Well, that's fine. Cool. We'll grab that and we'll go for a run. Oh, I'm so glad we've got the uh, Blade Runners now. It feels... It's weird, isn't it? When you get the movement tech, every time you go up and you get a new movement tech, you forget how good it was, and you're like, oh, I can't deal with not having that again. And then you, you know, start again and you just have to. <laughs> right, okay, have we got everything now? Yes, okay. just feed that in there like so cool so now we're gonna have rods in here as well nice cool awesome so that's got that uploading uh, now the way I'm gonna have this is we require our mergers so we just need to feed all of these in Okay, so we're already pulling from our dimensional depot, which is kind of nice. It's just dealing with the uploads. Nice. Okay. So then you're all going to feed in like that. Oh, did not mean to grab the parachute then. Uh, we're going to need you to spit out in that way. And then, that can just feed straight in there. Awesome. So now we've got a good supply of rods going uh, as well, which is cool. Awesome. So that's now feeding all of that up. Okay, screws are the next thing. We are going to need to find where we're going to try and do that. Because this is where space is going to start becoming an issue. Now, what happens if we knock this wall down? How does the floor look if we just continue out? Okay, so four meters is going to be a no-go there. But one meter? How is that going to look with the truck? That's kind of what I need to check. Is the truck going to get under that? For the one running the coal? 
Because if it does, great. If it doesn't, then we're going to need to think of something else. Where did I leave my tractor? I have to say, I'm loving the parachute, and also thank you very much for the comments for telling me I can put it away by hitting crouch. So, yeah, that was super useful. But yeah, I'm loving the parachute. I don't think I ever really used it before because it never used to be reusable, so you had to construct one, and they were one-time use items. Whereas now they are reusable. They, uh, they're they pretty good, and I really like them. Okay. So let's drive this around, and like I say, if we can get under, then we're gravy. If we're not, then we've got to think of something else. At some point, I need to get Nobilis so we can get rid of those gas rocks. Because I do want to expand the factory out there. Uh, you might have noticed... Oh, I've just seen that track go through, so then we're probably fine. Uh, I have put some structural supports for our bridge there, just to, you know, stop it looking quite so, uh... Ooh, that's tight. But it goes. Okay. Fine. So in which case, we will just expand this out like that. To give us some more room. going into this wall? Not quite. Okay, we've got power line there we might want to think of doing something with on the f in the floor. Got this random limestone node we should get rid of. Clear a bit of room for us. I mean, there's loads of it in it. There we go. Okay. Cool. So we are just going to have this random bump in the... in the base, which isn't ideal, but there's not much we can do about that. Let's just lock that in. I want to make sure that's in the middle of that foundation, which it is. So we can put our five down here. Okay. That's cool. He's just mooching away under there, which is good. Right, we'll have to take this bit away for the moment. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll need to... Oh, come on. Right. What do you mean? Okay. Lock it and do that. There we go. Now you're actually in the middle. That's where I want you to be. Cool. Right. And then we know we want to grab... Oh, that setting. Yep. And paste it in here. Now, where it comes to getting the iron for this one over here, this is where it's going to be an interesting... Uh, an interesting exercise for us to try and do. Right, so the easy bit is going to be putting the splitters in. Like that. Okay, so that's the easy bit. And then we can again just follow the same... Uh, methodology we used before. Okay. But now we need to bring that from over there over here. And 
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so that's where it actually kind of needs to get to. And... Voila! Okay, alright. So that's now feeding the ore over here. Okay. I mean, it's not the tidiest, but, you know... I'm going to deal with it. It's outside the factory and it's fine. Cool. So, that's you guys sorted. Then we can grab our constructors. Now then, how are we looking with these for car screws? So you need 12 and a half a minute. So we've got 5 times 30. So that's 150. So 150 divided by 12.5. Oh, it's 12. Okay. That's kind of nice. That'll fit 12 evenly, which means we're going to manifold... Uh, these guys coming back together. Like so. Cool. Okay. Which we've not done yet with uh, the iron ore. Is that everyone? Yep. Um, hang on. No, I am one short. Across all of it, I'm one short. Right, so we'll feed you in there. Right, and then put this back in. You're going to need to be told what to do. And you want some power. Cool. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Excellent. So now... Now... I'm going to need to expand forwards and this rock is right in the way. It's just going to be a real pain in the backside. Let's just run that out. I actually don't mind that as a support piece, like, looking like it's running through the floor. Right, okay, because I'm going to now need two rows of six. I think because that rock's there, I'm going to have to bring it, like, out here. Three, four, five, and six. And that's going to do 50 times six, which is more than we can handle with even our tier three belts. Okay. And I've got this support strut in the way. I'm going to want some room to work around this. It's going to be so many screws. Right, okay. So now... No, can't do that. Six. Yep, cool. Right. So now I need to put down my splitters. And this is where I'm really looking forward to getting blueprints. And I know I could have done blueprints already, but I haven't yet. Right, how many do you guys need for screws? 
Not having a half a minute, that's fine. So you're fine with ones there going in. Cool. Okay, so that's that set sorted. We can then do the same with these guys. not mean to grab the parachute there. Okay. And then we are also going to need a splitter here. So you're going to go in there. And you're going to go in there. Uh, and then it's because I've done that as a You could go straight into that. Yeah, let's do that. Take these down. Have you pointing like that? And then that just feeds straight in. Okay. So that's going to feed all of these guys, which is good. Start taking down some of these walls. Right, power line, you're not going to let me grab it off that, are you? Right, so I'm going to have to grab it off this. Bring it over. Right, now we've got to run the power. Come on. Oh, don't be like that. Limey, okay. Right. Oh, no, that one's in the wrong place. How picky are you guys when it comes to stuff like that? I know sometimes I'm not. Right. Uh, no, not screws. You need alternate screws. Start getting these guys running. Uh, okay, and then you're going to have to come forward for power. And I'm going to actually just, because that's the one I've linked it on, I'm going to let that do both. Yeah, this dimensional bit where I can just have it pull the rods, even though I've not got any in, is really handy. Right. Paste. 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 And paste. Cool. Okay. So, that is making us a load of screws. That's good. Let's just go and take this wall out now. Right, okay. So, now we need to figure out what we're doing. So, we're going to need a big old storage container for it. And I think the way we've got this set up, we're going to have to have it come out of this side. Right, okay. So then, where are we? Organisation, industrial storage. It's going to be a pain to get it all the way back over this side, but we're going to have to deal with that. So, one of the bits we're going to have to work with here is we're actually producing now more screws than our belt can handle. 
So the tier 3 is 270. Uh, and each of these rows is producing 300. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do with like the extra screws that we can't shift. So you're going to go around here and wow, why are you having trouble with that? There we go. So that's going to feed into that screw container there. And then we'll put the same set of mergers on this one. And then like I say, we've just got to figure out what to do with those last hundred screws, because we're not going to be able to fit them uh, on the regular belts at the moment. And we're not going to have an input we can use. Like, I'm already using... Oh, what did I do there? Uh, we're already using... Um, both of the inputs on our industrial storage to basically fill that as quickly as we can. Okay, so that's now got all of those going in there, which is good. Uh, do we have the stuff for another... We do. The screws are forever needed, so let's make sure we've got those in our dimensional setup. Excellent. There we go. Screws are uploading. Right. Now, now we need to get this sort of screws back over to where we were. So I'm thinking what we do is we... Oh, that disappeared off. Right. We're going to put one of these in here. Plug it in like that. And then we can drop down in a minute. Oh, you're going to make me run all the way around, aren't you? Oh, fooey. Okay, so what we can do is if we come up and around here. Where's our current screw bit? Our current screw bit is here. Ah, and that's now empty. Okay, that's kind of good. So I can take that down. That's where we're making use of screws. Okay, so what we can do is we can put a floor hole there. Pop him out like that. And I've just noticed the time. So we're going to have to finish this off next episode because I've got completely sidetracked there. Actually, no, we won't. We will just run along on this one. So, run that. We will run. Along here. Get to there, and then we'll come under here. Okay. Feed that in like so cool there we go and that's going to start feeding the screws again right but that is where I'm going to wrap this one oh they're clipping we might have to replace those with some uh, inverse foundations or just the one meters there we go right okay so, yes, that's what I'm going to wrap up on this one. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. Doubly so with these bumper episodes, which I've full-on lost track of time there, so apologies for that. Uh, but, thank you very much to my YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. Please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games I'm currently playing, uh, along with any relevant blueprints that come in with that as well. Uh, you also gain early access to the videos, so you get to see them before anyone else. And you get your name up on a shiny wall like this for uh, Satisfactory at the moment. 
But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.